Polite Pathways Mastering Polite Expressions in Asking and Giving Directions Hello, language learners. Welcome to our lesson on Polite Pathways Mastering Polite Expressions in Asking and Giving Directions As always, clear and polite communication is essential when interacting with others. Especially when you are lost or when someone asks you for directions, knowing how to ask and give directions politely can make the interaction smooth and pleasant. Today, we'll focus on polite expressions for these situations. Let's get started. When we ask for directions, it's important to be polite. Not only does this show respect for the person you're asking, but it also increases the chances of getting a helpful response. Here are a few expressions. Excuse me, could you please tell me how to get to the library? I'm sorry to bother you, but do you know the way to the nearest bus stop? Would you mind telling me where the city park is? Notice how each sentence starts with a polite phrase like, excuse me, or I'm sorry to bother you. These expressions are used to get the person's attention in a polite way. The phrase, would you mind, is a polite way of asking for help. Just like asking, giving directions also requires politeness. Here are some phrases you can use. Sure, I'd be happy to help. The library is two blocks down this road. No problem at all. The nearest bus stop is just around the corner. Of course, you'll find the city park right across the street. Again, starting with phrases like, sure, I'd be happy to help, or no problem at all, sets a friendly tone. They show willingness to assist and make the interaction more pleasant. It's time to put what you've learned into practice. Let's imagine a few scenarios. One, you're looking for a local coffee shop. What's a polite way to ask a passerby for directions? Answer, excuse me, could you please direct me to the nearest coffee shop? Two, a tourist asks you where the museum is. How do you respond politely? Answer, of course, the museum is just three blocks straight ahead, then take a left. Remember, practice makes perfect. Create your own scenarios and role play them to become more comfortable with these phrases. There you have it, folks. By using these polite expressions for asking and giving directions, you'll navigate your way through English conversations with grace and ease. We hope you found this lesson useful. Remember, being polite isn't just about knowing the right words. It's also about delivering them with kindness and respect. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in our next video.